ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC Flyweight Division, sponsored by Third Coast T-Shirts. And your referee in charge is Josh Stewart. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and yellow, he stands five feet, seven inches tall, official weight, 125.1 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record, two victories with four defeats, from DeKalb, Illinois, Charlie Monkey Toes, Nellinger. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing solid black trunks. He stands five feet, five inches tall. Official weight, 125.6 pounds. Coming tonight with a record, one victory with three defeats from Naperville, Illinois, Taylor We've got Taylor Morrison in these straight black, I want to say basketball shorts almost, and Charlie Nellinger in the black and yellow Muay Thai trunks. We've got Josh Stewart, third person in the ring. And we start round one. Touch of gloves by both fighters. Circling is Nellinger. Nelligent looking light on his feet as he comes out. Morrison just marching forward. Morrison marching forward, left right punch, and forcing Nellinger against the cage. So it's no secret that Morrison wants to come out here and wrestle right away. Nellinger quick to grab the back of Taylor Morrison. Attacking the underhook has Morrison kind of locked with his frame there on the left, the, on the left leg, on the left side there. Excuse me, Mike. Looks almost like he's transitioning to either an armbar or a triangle right now in terms of Nellinger. He's kind of at a bit of a weird angle to look for that triangle, which we would think he would go right to. But Morrison just kind of staying compact, um, which tells me he's very physically strong as they're in here in the scramble. Morris, Taylor Morrison on top swarming. He's just been nonstop with his energy on top of Charlie Nellinger. We're going to see what kind of gas tank this gentleman has. I think Morrison definitely understands that it doesn't have to be pretty. You know, he, he nothing about him screams flair. He's coming out here, he's getting right to his game. He's throwing punches when he can throw punches, not putting himself in danger. But Nellinger possibly attacking that arm bar here. Nice block by Taylor Morrison. And Nellinger continuing to pose some offense from the bottom position. I think we see why Nellinger's name is Monkey Toes there, the way he kind of had that triangle locked up, using his feet as if they were hands on his back here. A little Omoplata attempt by Nellinger. Hammering punches is Morrison. Morrison has not stopped since he entered this cage. Just keeping going. Now, the only thing, if I'm Morrison, I'd, I'd make an adjustment here. His pressure's good, but he's keeping his head down. And that's why he keeps falling in, into some of these traps that Nellinger is setting. Perhaps the arm bar, the triangle that we saw. I will tell you what, as, as active as Morrison is on the top, Nellinger is as on the bottom. This is very much the most 50-50 ground fight that I've seen here. You know, Morrison, he's on his back, which we think he will be losing, but he's constantly setting traps, looking for position. Excuse me, Nellinger. And Morrison on top, just... Look at Nellinger in inverted... <laughs> I don't know. If, is he looking for a inverted it's triangle? Inverted triangle oh. here. I think Morrison's going to be able to slide his Slip head out. out. You know, just a la Toby just Amata marching in. through everything that Nellinger throws at him. Yeah, a la Toby Amata and George Masvidal. We got Nellinger continuing his attacks from the bottom while Morrison is peppering the head of uh, Charlie Nellinger. Nellinger again going for some inversion. Man, Nellinger just literally throwing everything, trap after trap, throwing the up kick, staying busy off his back. I like to see that. I don't know if both of their gas tanks can maintain this type of uh, activity. You know, I, I think you might be right, right, Mike. Uh, that's that may be the determining factor in this fight here. We just saw a whole three fights worth of moves in one round. <laughs> Morrison just sticking to his ground and pound, sticking to his wrestling game. Nellinger sticking to his calling card, throwing everything from everywhere, takedowns, punches, kicks, everything. 
You got Danny Mulraney in the corner of Taylor Morrison. You got Tyler Scott and Brian Ankins. That's who we're, Brian Ankins in the corner of Nellinger. I tell you, Morrison does not look like he's breathing hard. I wonder if he can go this hard for three rounds. Everything about that kid is just calm, cool, collected, getting to my game, you know, and then they're, they're the antithesis of each other. Nellinger coming out with the flare, punches. Round two starts. Great kick, contrast of styles here. Kick to the body, Nellinger marching forward. Ooh, clash of heads. Counter punching is Nellinger. In for a double leg takedown again is Morrison. Morrison marching right into that takedown. He says, hey, I don't want any part of this standing game here. Getting back to what worked for him the first round. Now we saw a lot of traps from Nellinger being thrown off of his back here. We saw the triangle. We saw a few arm bar attempts as well here. So if you're Morrison, you definitely want to make sure you're on guard, just watching for everything Nellinger's throwing up here. Nellinger continuing to have these just these strange angles from the bottom, just throwing everything he can at Morrison. Morrison staying calm through the fire. Ooh, going. Inverted arm bar attempt off, use the cage to launch his hips in position for an arm bar potentially is Nellinger it, into a, a crucifix. crucifix. <laughs> I, don't, I feel like Nellinger's like button mashing here if he's playing a video game, just throwing one thing after the other. I don't think these techniques have ever been tied no, together in no. that way. Now, if you're a U current UFC rostered veteran, I hope you're at home with a pen and paper taking notes on this. Nellinger very active from the bottom. Morrison continuing the pr top pressure. Morrison doing a good job using his knee to kind of block off the left arm there, Nellinger, so he could strike. Constantly in a bridge is Nellinger as well. And on the back, Morrison, Morrison takes it back. On the back, he might be under the throat there. It looks like he can maybe attack this finish. Nellinger doing a great, great job attacking the top defending. hand. Defending. Yeah, Nellinger is defending, and we're belly down in a rear naked choke Deep with Taylor Morrison choke. on top. And there's and a that's tap. That's going to be the finish. What a fantastic finish. You know what? In wrestling, they call it funk. When somebody puts themselves in a bad position just to create something new, they call it funk. I think Nellinger may have a little too much funk. Little bit too much funk. Maybe maybe stick to the fundamentals a bit. You know, I work with Duke Rufus quite a bit, and he uses the phrase K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid, when it comes to striking. And I'm not calling Nellinger stupid by any, by any means. means. That's yeah. the saying. It's to, to keep it simple when it comes to striking, when it comes to grappling. And that's what we saw from Morrison here. He got into some awkward positions, some positions I don't even know how, if I would react well in. But he stayed calm, stuck to his game plan, stayed to the fundamentals, was able to get to the back position, get back control, and got that left arm deep under the throat of Nellinger and secured the finish. Beautiful rear naked choke finish by Morrison. But Morrison's still not breathing heavy, I might add. Still not breathing heavy as Morrison. Yeah, very stoic throughout this entire night, man, from the walkout all the way through the fight. We're going to make this fight official. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Josh Stewart, called the stop to the contest at two minutes of round number two for the winner by submission via rear naked choke, Taylor Morrison. We got Taylor Morrison moving up his record to two and three by way of submission. His first fight was against a highly decorated purple belt as well. And you know, but he won by knockout. Now he's got a, a knockout win and a submission win. Danny Mulraney's doing a fantastic job over there at MMA Stop.